Hey y'all, what's going on? It is your favorite Auntie Mo, and we are back again for another episode review of Jocelyn Hernandez's Cabaret, baby. This is the fourth um, episode of the first season. We just gonna call this episode the video shoot, because that's what this was. She was just shooting the video for her song, Sex Drive. Um, Always church announcements before we get, let's how I say, church announcements, sex drive. Hey, it is what it is. Before we get into this review, y'all, y'all already know regular church announcements. If you have not done so just yet, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. Auntie will show enough appreciate you for it. Before you leave, let me know that you stopped by. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down and then hit that notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. Look here. I just want to say real quick. All of y'all that leave me comments on these videos that I do, not just this one, but any video that I do. Thank y'all. Like your, your, your auntie show enough appreciates you. Thank you. I appreciate every single comment that people leave. I respond back to every single comment. When y'all say, I've said this before in videos, but whenever you tell me, girl, you is like my best friend in my head. Bitch, you is like my sister in my head. Girl, I... They hit your auntie right there every time. I love that. That is one of the best compliments that you can give your auntie. So thank y'all so much for that. I damn sure appreciate y'all. I love y'all for loving me. Thank y'all so much for that. Um, But um, like I said, we gonna call this episode the video shoot because she was basically shooting her video. Um, And it wasn't a whole lot that went on with it. But still, I'm here to give y'all a good review as always. So far, <laughs> Banana mango on deck, son. Boom. Oh, you don't want it. Hey, it is what it is. Y'all already know <laughs> what keto, bitch. Because I've been drinking the hell out of these goddamn banana mango green teas. I mean, it is what it is. Hopefully, y'all are ready for this review because I'm damn sure ready to give it to you. So, let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all. So, before we get into this review, let me give y'all a little bit of tea. So, guess who hit me up? People that's hitting up. Niggas is watching your auntie. Okay. Guess who hit me up, y'all, after last week's episode? Lucky Hustler. Lucky hit me up, y'all. She sent me a message on Twitter, and she was super dope. She was real cool. She was like, you know, hey, you know, um, I like, I enjoy your reviews, and thank you for keeping it lighthearted, but she did want to let a bitch know, um, like I said about Baz, he just my special nigga. He ain't my pimp, and he ain't my boyfriend. He ain't none of that. And she just had to let a bitch know. I ain't mad at you, but she was super cool about it. Lucky, if you're watching this, show enough, appreciate you, girl. But look here. We cool now. I'm your auntie now. I'm finna let you know. Give it to you straight, no chaser. Girl, he your pimp, girl. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bitch. Get it how you live. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But um, anyways, y'all, once again, shout out to you, Lucky. Thank you for hitting your auntie up. I show enough, appreciate you, girl. All right, y'all. So. Johnson is shooting a video for her song Sex Drive, right? The first part of the video, she's shooting child, she on the beach, on these rocks, in a sparkly bikini with the lace gloves all the way up to here, in a blonde wig and a cloak, like a, a, a black cloak, like from Teen Titans that Raven wears. It looked like a cloak. I was like, it just didn't have the hood part to it. If it had the hood, I'd have been like, is this bitch doing a seance on this beach? Because it was already sort of, um, it didn't really match up together how she was dressing on the beach. But hey, I'm sure it's some artsy shit in there some damn where. But yeah, I just thought that whole, uh, Afterwards, she's talking it up with her hair and her makeup artist, these two guys, and they just keep in being messy girl, talking about the whole girls and the drama that happened at the dinner, this and the other. Now, the um, the two guys, they agree with Jocelyn that Chastity and Daisy, they like mean girls. They steady bullying Lucky and, and Jay all the time, and how Jay and Lucky, they got their own shit that they worried about. They ain't trying to be out of here arguing with these hoes, none of that shit. They on some other shit, right? So, Jocelyn says she's going to invite Lucky and Jay to be a part of her video and she gonna leave chastity and daisy out of it on some real petty shit right now i'm thinking you want these girls to to be like cool and and not have no drama and no shit like that but she wants to invite them to do the video but she also wants to invite daisy and chastity so they can sit there and watch them be in a video she ain't gonna tell them they ain't a part of the video i'm like okay see now you say you want the hoes to unite hoes ain't gonna unite 
When you standing in the middle making a rift between these bitches like that, you can't do that shit. If we supposed to be doing this for the family, I'm gonna need you to do this for the family. You, you, you ten bitches apart. That ain't right. So later on, y'all, we get to G5, and that's where she's shooting the rest of the video and also where she's inviting the girls to come to, right? Now, the thing, this is what I don't understand. Because Johnson kept saying how these girls ain't ready and they need to be motherfucking ready so they can be ready for the motherfucking cabaret because I got to tell these hoes because the cabaret did it. What is the cabaret, Jocelyn? Come on, come on, what is it? Help me. Like, like, what? How, how are we supposed to know what it is when you ain't showed us nothing? You told us, but you ain't showed us. I need to see something. Because like I said, other than being 304s, some beautiful 304s, but other than being 304s, what is the cabaret supposed to do? K, help me. What is it supposed to do? I'm just saying, I ain't hating or nothing like that, but is it like Cirque du Soleil? What is else is we supposed to be doing besides enticing the men and dancing? You say you're supposed to do, be doing that, but not taking your clothes off with it. Bitch, that's the Pussycat Dolls. That's what they do. So later on, the producer sort of pulls Jocelyn to the side and say that they've been trying to get in touch with Jay. Now, they've already talked with Sapphire because Sapphire going to be, Sapphire got a big old ignorant ass. Who, if y'all done seen Johnson's cabaret, cha, her ass is ignorant. It's just, it's ignorant. I G N A N T, ignorant. Who, that ass, girl, 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 girl. The producers are saying that they looking for Jay. They don't know where she is, but Sapphire and Lucky on their way. Now, Johnson was saying, I told y'all last time when I shot with that hoe, she got shit to do. She got tricks to turn and all of this. She ain't got time for no TV show. The producer's like, well, she got to see the bigger picture. This could be something on a bigger and better things. Like Johnson said, and hey, that might be Jay's mentality. Look here, I ain't got time for bigger and better shit, bitch. I got to get this money. Daddy need his money now. I ain't got time for the bigger and better picture. Bigger and better picture gonna come later. I need this money now. I need to go get these tricks now. So y'all, the girls is backstage getting ready to go and uh, perform for Jocelyn's uh, video or whatever, right? They back there smoking, Snoop Dogging and shit all in the back of the goddamn dressing room G5, right? So Jocelyn is on stage doing her little performance part for the video. Um, it was very, I mean, I, I, I love jazz. I, I finna call this bitch Jasmine. Cause I'm, I just don't know what to say. Um, I love Jocelyn. I, I love Jocelyn, the Puerto Rican princess, but the song is more like, mm, yeah, I'm just going to move on from that because I don't have a whole lot of nothing. You know, the it was, the girls were beautiful. The beach was beautiful. The men were very handsome. And it was a lot of ass. That's all I got to say about that. Jay actually does end up so, uh, showing up. Jay was like, look here, I done turned them tricks. I got to get this money now. On to the next one. Where this money at for this shit, right? Jocelyn tells Lucky Jay and Sapphire that she did not invite Jazz, um, Chazity and Daisy to actually be in the video, but she invited them to come and look at the video shoot. They don't know that they're not going to be in the video. Now, my nigga Lucky had a goddamn valid point. Like, don't you think this is going to cause even more rift between us? That's what I said. Bitch, we supposed to be a family. We supposed to be putting all of this in a pot. Now, I do get Jay's point of view. Jay's point of view, like, look here. Them hoes mouth and they actions is what got them to where, where and why they ain't finna be in this. We earned this spot. It is what it is. If them hoes is mad, get them hoes a cape and they can be super mad. I don't give a fuck. I ain't mad at her for that. Sapphire, like, look here. I'm an old school bitch with old school bills and I got old school shit to do. So, 
Y'all can do all the fucking bickering y'all want to. Uh, you just let me know when and where and how fast I need to make these this ignorant ass shake. That's all I need to goddamn know. So y'all, they shoot the video. They get ready to do this robbery scene, right? And the video, the concept of the video is supposed to be like Jocelyn and her girls is on some female gangster shit. And so they end up robbing these trick ass niggas up out their money after they done seduced them and shit. Some old Triple Crown production books that I used to read the shit out of Triple Crown Productions. Boy, hold up. But that's the kind of the concept of what the video was. But, um, oh, and A Hustler's Wife. Baby, I read one, two, three, four, and 5 of Hustler's Wife. If y'all have read A Hustler's Wife, y'all all right with me, goddammit. That's all I got to say. If you were looking at this and you have read any one of the Hustler's Wives books and you enjoyed it, bitch, we here. We here. All you got to do is drop a set of eyes and two fingers and I already know, bitch, we here. We right fucking here. But um, before they end up shooting the robbery scene, y'all, production had to come and get these niggas a pep talk. Like, look here. Although these are BB guns and they, you know, they may or may not. That's what I didn't understand. You give these niggas a pep talk. Do you know that they got, do they got BBs in a BB gun? Why are you giving these niggas this pep talk? Are you expecting one of these niggas accidentally shoot some goddamn body? Because they're like, look here, when you got the gun, I need you to face it up or face it down at all times. Don't face it at nobody on no crazy, crazy shit. Either up or down. That's all I need you to do with the goddamn weapons. Because you know niggas, they been and got, ah, drrr, <laughs> ra -ta -ta -ta. they been and started acting all fucking ignorant and all of that shit. So they end up shooting a whole little robbery scene. Hmm, it is what it is, y'all. Like I said, I'm, I'm not going to say a whole lot of too much more about that. Oh, my back itching like a motherfucker. That's probably God like, uh, move on, move on. Okay, God, I'm sorry, I'm going to move on. After the photo shoot, everybody leave. Chazity, I mean, not Chazity, what's the, uh, Jay and Lucky and Sapphire, they all got to go. Jocelyn say, I got a motherfucking baby, I got to go. By the time everybody leave, then Chazity and Daisy end up showing up and ain't nobody goddamn there. They like, now what kind of shit is this here? So, Daisy says she ends up scrolling through Instagram and see that um, Lucky and um, Jay been posting pictures and shit. Like, they been at the whole doggone video shoot, posted up with props and shit, looking all good and all of that, like sex drive and all of that. So, they like, oh, word? Word, though? You gonna have them hoes in the video and even gonna tell us that we supposed to be the top notch hoes? Like, what? Later on, Jocelyn and Ballista go work out, and they have that, like, little talk or whatever that they do, right? They talking about the whole situation that happened, and um, Jocelyn is telling him about how, you know, they got pissed off and how he didn't invite the other girls, meaning Daisy and Chazity, to be a part of the video, right? Now, this is what Ballistic said that I, 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 Mm, I didn't like that he said that. Ballistic was like, that's what I was understanding is why you didn't invite Chazity and Daisy because not knocking Jay and Lucky, but they seem more like the type of girls that she would have in a video anyway. The, why? Because they dark skin? Why? Oh, you know, I give it to them. I will say this. Daisy got a whole lot more body yaddy yaddy. I get that. I totally get that. But what was really on your mind with that though? Cause automatically I'm thinking, are you trying to say cause they light skin with the with the bundles and we got my 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 chocolate melanin sisters over here, lucky with that pretty kinky hair and and Jay with her little straight black. Is that is that what we saying? Cause that's what I was thinking. It could or could not be that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't nobody come for me. Cause once again, your auntie ain't sent for you. But I am open for a good discussion about it. You know what I'm saying? Jocelyn says later on that night that Daisy ended up sending a group text to all of them, basically letting Jocelyn know like you wrong for that. We still ain't got paid no damn money. You still ain't told us how much we gonna get paid. You still ain't told us what the hell we got to do to get paid for it. I need to know what the hell is going on. Jocelyn's whole thing is, bitch, when I tell you I'm going to pay your money, I'm going to pay your damn, your damn money when daddy say he going to pay you. God damn it, you wait. But I don't blame them. Because, again, I'm, I, they work, they, they with you when they don't even know what the fuck you doing. I'm, I'm on the outside watching you through my screen and I don't know what the hell you doing. So I can only imagine how goddamn confused them goddamn girls are. They just want to know what we got to do and what we got to get paid for it. That's it. That's all they want to know. Nothing more, nothing less. 
Um, once again, Johnson brings up this whole shit. When we gonna get married again? Child, but listen, talking about they gonna get married on the moon. He's so full of shit. Johnson, that is your key that that nigga don't want to get married. He don't want to. Come on. Now, if a nigga tell you they gonna get married on the moon, nigga, what? On the moon? Fuck out of here with that, child. But, um, at the end of the episode, they played the full video for Jocelyn's sex drive. And it was what it was. Um, again, I'm not finna, I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not even fit to do it. I'm not fit to do it. I'm not fit to do it. If y'all seen this episode, y'all seen the video, <laughs> feel free to go in about the got home video. <laughs> Cause yeah. Mm -mm. Anyways, y'all, if it was anything that I missed, y'all already know, drop it down below and let me know. I'm finna get in this damn tea. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's going on, y'all? Look here. If you like this video, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Comment on this video. All of that good stuff. And if ain't nobody else told you today, I sure enough love you. And I sure enough appreciate you.